There's a strategy I use to eat more food on the weekends and still lose fat, and it's called calorie cycling. It's what I wanna to talk to you about on today's video. So without further ado, let's just jump right into it. Hey, what's up, Josiah Novak here with thetruetransformation.com. If this is your first time joining the channel, thanks so much for tuning in. Today we're gonna to talk about calorie cycling it's a method I use from time to time to lose body fat and also be able to eat more food on the weekends when typically I'm just more busy, whether it's family stuff, parties, get togethers with friends, date nights, I wanna be able to eat more on the weekend. So I set my nutrition up in a way that allows me to enjoy more food on the weekend while simultaneously still losing fat during the course of the week. And I wanna break this down for you so maybe you can use it too during holiday season or to get ready for the summer or whenever you're trying to lose body fat, this might be a strategy that works really well for you. So first things first, let's define what exactly is calorie cycling. Let me just be clear up front, there's literally no magic to this. It still comes down to putting your body in a caloric deficit, meaning over the course of time, you're burning more calories than you eat, and thus your body has to tap into body fat in order to sustain its energy and daily functions, and ultimately, over time you lose fat and you get as ripped as you want. Calorie cycling just sets it up in a way that you have some days which are higher in calorie, some days strategically lower in calories. At the end of the week, you've created a large enough deficit to lose a good chunk of body fat. In a nutshell, that's what calorie cycling is. But there's a couple strategies that I'm gonna give you now to make this really effective and ultimately give you almost cheat codes, if you will, on how to almost in a way speed up fat loss. So let's jump into a couple strategies and how to actually set up your week for calorie cycling. First things first, looking at our week, we want to have at least three days in a row of lower aggressive level calories. Now this is not starvation. This is not, you know, zero calories or zero carbs or anything like that. It's putting your body in roughly a thousand calorie deficit. All right, so what does that look like? Well, the easiest way to determine what your 1,000 calorie deficit would look like would be first to find your maintenance calories. So maintenance calories, there's a calculator that you can use that I've put together for you. I'll put the link in the description of this video. You can check that out. But an easy way is just to take your body weight times 12 to 14. So for me, that equals roughly 3,000 calories a day. That's what I would need every day to maintain my weight. So if I wanna create a 1,000 calorie deficit, I'm gonna bring my calories down to about 2,000 a day, sometimes even more, but usually I'll set a range. For me, it's usually 1,600 calories a day to 2,000 calories a day. I'm only gonna do this for three days in a row. That's it, no more than that. Any more than that, and I start to have crazy low energy, my appetite starts to go nuts, and it's not sustainable. Now keep in mind, this is totally optional. Like You really don't have to do this to lose fat. I'm just giving you the way I set it up so that I can go out and enjoy extra food on the weekends with my wife or have some ice cream with my kids and not really worry about it. So for me, I pick Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday because those are my busiest days of the week. I have work stuff all day, kids stuff at night. I'm basically nonstop, so I really don't think about food. I typically drink a ton of water, some caffeine, stay busy, and stick to mostly protein during the day. I'll save most of my fun calories, my carbs and fats for at night. We're not gonna get into specifics around carbs and fats, just keep in mind we're just focused on calories and this is gonna set you up with a very, very good blueprint for success with calorie cycling. So Monday through Wednesday I have low calories. You could do Tuesday through Thursday. Heck, if you have a crazy weekend schedule, you could do this on the weekend, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. But I like to have at least three days. If you wanna get more aggressive with this, you could do four days in a row, but honestly, I would just stick to three. On day number four, this is where I typically have a date night on Thursday nights, and I like to set aside a almost maintenance day for day number four. So I'm taking my calories all the way back up to like 2,500 to 3,000 on day number four. This gives me a nice mental break, and it gives me extra calories to play with. Now on Friday and Saturday, I bring my calories to a very maintainable fat loss level. For me, this is a 500 calorie deficit. So if you're keeping tabs at home, so far we've set a 3,000 calorie deficit for the week, Monday through Wednesday, because we did 1,000 below our maintenance for three days in a row. We brought it up to maintenance, we're close to it. Might still be in a small deficit on Thursday, but we're not really concerned about being in a big deficit. Just start trying to give ourselves a mental break and prepare us for the weekend ahead. So Friday and Saturday, I have 
about 2,500 calories or maybe 2,400 on both those days. But a key thing that I do on Friday and Saturday is I'll fast for most of the day. So I don't eat from the time I wake up till about two or three o'clock in the afternoon. That gives me a full chunk of calories to play with. So heck, on Saturday night, if I'm going out for a party, I might not eat anything until I go out. And once again, this is not something you have to do. I just wanna make sure you know this is totally optional. You, do, you can experiment with this, you can play around with this kind of stuff. But ultimately what I'll do is I'll go out on Friday and I'll have something that I'm just craving Friday night, or excuse me, Saturday night. Might do it Friday. If I do it Friday, I probably won't do it Saturday. And I'll still fast Friday and Saturday no matter what. And then on Sunday, I do a long fast. And guess what? On Sunday, I only have one big meal. This is the key. I'm getting my body back into fat burning mode, like big time aggressive fat burning mode, but I'll have a big meal at night. Usually 1200 calories is my last meal, but no food during the day. All right, so I cut my calories down to about 1200 on Sunday, but I have one big meal. So I'm not going to bed hungry. I'm not starving. The hardest part of this whole calorie cycling thing is Monday through Wednesday. Usually Wednesday is the hardest day. Sometimes even Tuesday and Wednesday is kind of like, all right, I'm used to it now. But I know on Thursday, I'm gonna have upwards of 3,000. Sometimes I'll even go over 3,000, like 3,200. But if we do the math, this is the calorie deficit I'm creating. I'm creating 3,000 calorie deficit Monday through Wednesday. Then on Friday and Saturday, I'm adding another 1,000, 500 each day. So we're up to 4,000 calorie deficit for the week. And then on Sunday, I'm adding another 1,800 calories. So nearly 6,000 calorie deficit. This is how I'm able to lose fat really, really quickly. Full disclosure, I never run this for more than like a month at a time, usually at most six weeks. And that's if I'm trying to get crazy lean. Typically I'll just run a normal fat loss deficit leading into summer, usually 400 calories below my maintenance per day, maybe down to 600, depending on how much fat I wanna lose. But I'm not running a calorie cycling program the whole entire time. It just doesn't make sense because it's just not sustainable. But this is a good one to run during holiday season and you can move around the days to time it with the big holidays. So for example, if Christmas is on a Saturday, you might run your low calorie days from Wednesday through Friday. And then on Saturday, you would have that big calorie day because it's Christmas. And then the day after, you might just go down to like 2,500 or in your case, whatever 500 below maintenance looks like for you. Heck, you might even do two back-to-back -back days of maintenance because you just had three like big deficit days. So you're not that worried about it. This is a good way to set up a week around big days where you know you're gonna be eating a lot more. And guess what? On Christmas, if you don't track any calories, who cares? Because you know in the days following, you're gonna get right back on track and your appetite's gonna get under control relatively quickly because you're not jumping back into aggressive calories, you're jumping into a very moderate calorie deficit for at least two days afterwards. So you can ease back into the fat loss phase. And after a week cycle goes by again, you're going to get rid of any water weight or any retention or any fat gain that you had over the Christmas holiday. You can do this for anything. In all honesty, you could set this up at any point in time in the year. I would say don't run this more than a couple of times a year. I don't want you to have an unhealthy relationship with food. And if you've got a lot on your plate with work, kids, life in general, there's no point in making it harder on yourself by doing an aggressive cut like this with calorie cycling. But this is one that I think will work really well. We didn't get into specifics with protein, carbs, and fats, but as a bonus tip, I'll give you this. With protein, I would set protein at about a gram per pound. I know it's higher than I've maybe recommended in the past, but with this, I like to have as much satiation as possible. I don't want my appetite doing anything crazy. So I wanna put a huge emphasis on protein here because I just don't wanna feel hungry all the time. And I typically avoid liquid calories during this phase as well, especially the super low calorie days. I wanna chew all my food, wanna get that full digestion process so that I feel satisfied and the stomach's full as much as possible. And I don't sit here thinking about food all day, trying to stay busy, chew my food, high volume foods, fruits, vegetables, lean meats, things like potatoes, because that's gonna fill me up the most. So guys, I hope this helped. Um, if you're looking to try calorie cycling, I mapped out the whole routine in the description of the video below. So all you gotta do is copy and paste the exact routine I mapped out in the description, put it in a note in your phone, and get to work. Let me know how it works out for you. Leave a comment if this helped, and if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel. And if you're interested in a sustainable way to lose fat, I left a video here with just a breakdown of how to set up a very sustainable fat loss routine. Go check that one out next. 
And remember, life moves fast. Make it count. I'll talk to you on the next video. Peace.